driverless endeavor is about to take off. Different though, flying taxis, flying taxis. Buckle up, <laughs> a company just opened an office in Fremont and ABC 7's Karina Nova is here with more on that. You, there's no prototype to go up in yet, just to be clear, right? There's nothing going up yet, but soon, five years yeah. from now. Get ready, right. Larry and right. Kristen. Right. Five years is what it's gonna take me <laughs> to get mentally prepared, so that's fine. Yeah. You can hide. Yeah. Those flying taxis, are going to be here before we know it. A company called Supernal is actively working with the FAA. For now, the target markets are Los Angeles, Miami, and Seoul. But the goal is to eventually have the autonomous flying taxis here in the Bay Area where they're being developed. The future is here in the Bay Area, specifically in Fremont, where these autonomous aircraft are being built. Supernal is an advanced air mobility company, part of Hyundai Motor Group. The vision is to create an air taxi that would allow people to skip the commute on the roads. Ramona Stefanescu is the lead research manager. Going from a, a hub like an airport or a, again a, a downtown, right, San Francisco, San Jose, to, um, to Palo Alto or some city in between, that can be done uh, as a short trip with an air taxi. Not being stuck in traffic, not spending 40 to uh, 50 minutes in, in traffic. We want to give time to people to spend more time with their families. Stefanescu and her team are in the process of designing a first generation aircraft. It would seat four people and at first be piloted by a human going about 120 miles per hour with a 25 to 30 mile battery range. What we're looking at here is it does kind of look like a helicopter to me, but what's different? So uh, you're going to see a lot of movement in the, in the rotors. So you're, it, you're, you're taking off vertically, you're flying as a plane forward, and then you land back uh, vertically. So it's a, it's a mix between a helicopter and a, and a plane. How hard is it to design and build something this new? Um, it, it is challenging, uh, but you know we, we cannot forget that we are building on, on top of existing technologies and an existing um, manufacturing process for for aircraft, for civilian uh, uh, commercial aircraft and uh, general aviation aircraft. Part of the process is developing batteries that are lightweight and powerful, building the airframe, rotors, sensors, as well as an ecosystem for these vehicles to take off and land something they're calling a vertiport. So it's going to be a dedicated structure. Um, we can draw analogies with a, a, a helipad right now, right? A very similar uh, construction where we need to land vertically. Uh, but yes, it's going to have uh, charging stations. This is an electric aircraft powered by batteries. So it's going to have uh, availability of charging stations for, for cars, for the aircraft, uh, but also to, to park our cars or bikes, or as I said, hopefully we can walk to, to a vertiport. The timetable for supernal employees here and across the company to get the aircraft into service service is 2028. That's five years from now. Through this process where we have safety as, as the core it may take a few years and we, you know, taking the right steps, uh, we, we may not be the first or second to market, but there is something that the company is dedicated to the, the safety of, of our aircraft. Mm -hmm. Some of this video, we're seeing multiple mm -hmm. aircraft flying at the same time. Yes. Will that be the future? Yes, that, that's definitely the, the, the future and uh, we are working on uh, aircraft uh, uh, integration in the airspace. We uh, are aware that we are not going to be the only one flying. So fog, rain, will yes. that be an issue? Uh, uh, that's uh, some of the work that my team is, uh, is looking into, how we are going to operate um, when we are going to have fog in San Francisco. In 2038, you imagine your friends, family saying, oh, I'm going to take this to skip my commute in my yes, car. Yes, and I hope myself to, to come to work uh, one day with an air taxi. I, I hope that for sure. I, I, we need it here. Supernal wants to make this affordable. They say maybe as expensive as an Uber X for a 45 minute drive and they'll fly at lower altitudes, one to 2000 feet for perspective. Our news helicopter flies between 1500 and 2000, but traditional helicopters generally fly at around 10,000. So Larry, 